certain milestones and anniversaries stand out on their own. But Jeja LeCoult likes to celebrate a little bit differently. The Jeja LeCoult Reverso Tribute Non Antiem signifies 90 years since the introduction of their incredible rectangular flipping watch that has persevered through almost every trend and fashion of wristwatches. A dual face reverso is nothing new from the watchmaker of watchmakers, but the way the reverse dial presents is fairly novel. Instead of a second time zone, the reverse side is a simple yet sculptural digital display with a jump hour complication, rolling minutes, and moon phase. The circular case cutouts in lieu of a dial lend the watch a sense of magic, especially with the intricate details such as the tiny crimped edge around the large section and the concentric circles emanating from the hour display. The day-night indicator is intoxicating, with its midnight blue lacquered finish punctuated by bright golden stars. Owning this watch would create a certain problem, and that would be trying to decide which dial you'd rather show off to the world. The front-facing dial is absolutely classic JLC, with a smooth sunburst silver dial and every detail perfected. The applied hour markers in pink gold exude elegance, as do the polished Dauphine hands and the moon phase display, crafted in the same manner as the day-night dial on the opposite side. The date display below 12 o'clock has a similarly digital look to the jump hour. Inspired by the Art Deco clocks of the 1920s, before the first Reverso was released, the 18 karat pink gold case is the traditional Reverso design, with a 29.9mm diameter and a 49.4mm lug to lug. This makes it slightly larger than you might expect a purely classical rectangle watch to be, but that just helps its stunning details be seen better on the wrist. The thickness isn't too bulked up from the added complexity either, with a measurement of 11.7mm. The water resistance is only 30 meters, but I don't imagine anyone thinking of wearing this watch in the jacuzzi. The movement is the Jeja LeCoult Calibre 826, a manual winding affair with a beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour and 42 hours of power reserve. It's only 6.4 millimeters thick, which is impressive for the amount of complications rammed in and helps the watch stay relatively slim, even with its flippable case and dual dials. As a limited edition of 190 pieces, costing 60,000 Australian dollars, this is definitely going to be a holy grail watch for a lot of JLC fans. Between its phenomenal looks and unique features, I can't wait to see what the 100th anniversary reverser will be like.